Okay, so I've already imported some data um, that I had uploaded. So this one's the big combined 1990, 97, 2019 data set. It was a .save file, so it came in from SPSS at some point. And when it was in SPSS, when it first came in from Excel to that, it, it changed some of the variables um, so that the numbers showed up uh, at the beginning of the variable name with an at symbol. So Excel allows numbers to be at the beginning of variables, but a lot of other stat programs don't like that. So I imported it, and when I want to look at it, I can click on output data, and uh, I can even you know turn this split thing off. Let's see, oh, that's being slow. I'll just drag that up. And then you can see all the different variables that are in here. Now, I'm gonna squeeze this out of the way here. So you can see all that kind of data, that spreadsheet that you might be interested in. And it stops at household income. Now, you may realize that, man, this doesn't seem like all the columns. Well, it's not. So over here on columns, I can turn on or off certain columns for viewing. So if I'm interested in viewing something else, like um, the percent rural, I can turn that one on. It's gonna throw it towards the end. Uh, if I'm interested in the percent low birth weight, I can turn that on. Um, so any of these other variables that I wanna turn on, I can turn them on and then scroll over and at the very end, I can see those variables that I turned on. So that is helpful. Um, next, this is a great improvement compared to like our studio. So SAS Studio allows us to um, view rows one to 100. We can view even at the very end by clicking on that, the last rows of data. Here they are, all right. We can go forward or backwards 100. So some of that, you know, you may have been able to experience with our studio. But the problem with our studio currently is on a particular variable like household income where you want to sort it. If I just sort it here, you think, oh, it's just going to sort among these 100. No. What's great is when I sort it here, it sorts it for the whole data set. So like you might be used to with like Microsoft Excel or another, uh, you know, stat program. So. When I sort it, we can see the household income from, in this case, lowest to highest, where the first county's got a missing data. There's no there. So the second county is the lowest income county, you know, which is a First Nation county or Native American reservation county. And then we've got a Black Belt county. And then we've also got, you know, in Appalachian county that's just down the road from us here at EKU. You can see a few more of our counties right here in our backyard. And you see McDowell County, which is in southwestern West Virginia, um, that borders Kentucky. So you can, you know, scroll uh, through the data, look at it. I can invert this, and we can go from the top down, and we can see the uh, wealthiest counties in the United States. These two here in Virginia, then uh, Santa Clara County, California. I'm guessing these are Northern Virginia. So easy enough way of viewing your data in the uh, kind of spreadsheet format. Easy for sorting. Um, it keeps everything paired together. Unlike Excel, where if there's a column and you don't expand all, things can get all cattywampus, and we don't like that. So this is a nice way of being able to look at your data. In the next few videos, we're gonna talk about how to create a new variable where you may be interested in changing one of these variables with a mathematical formula or combining two things to create new variables that you can then express as columns that you can then view. So hopefully this has been helpful, helpful and I appreciate your time.